can evade the tackle, but he can't escape the tackle of Effin O'Hur. Craig East guys one, Marcus St. Heller takes it comfortably. And evades two tackles. He had a great game last time out. And looks set to do the same again. He's a powerful player. <laughs> oh, that's a great ball from Crabsley. And it's a great chance for Ben Rorty. He's got support from Paul March. The Vikings go behind. Michael Dever uh, expectedly adds the conversion. Well, uh, the fans convinced that that was a forward pass. The bounce of the ball, the couple of decisions need to go our way. It's not happened yet. And the conversion is successful. Down on this kick return set. Tim Holmes O'Connor knocks off the tackle, makes 15 metres. Great set for the Vikings. Craigie. Oh, well, face ball. And Flames got out of the tackle. Oh, good work by Owen Craigie as well. Pushed him over the line. What a ball there. A great face ball. A good return set from the kick. Eventually, leading to a score, 8-6, or 6-8. So, Myler, 25 metres out, successful conversion. Witness level the scores after 15 minutes. Again, we'll look to capitalise on the penalty. Crabtree. Oh, well. Makes it look so simple. Foreman just sucked the man in. Well, the ball kept alive by Jim Gannon and Huddersfield almost capitalised on it immediately. Short side. March. Winners have got to start covering the ball. Huddersfield keeping it alive very well at the moment. And again. Oh, Gravion! No! Has he got the legs? Can he put his head down and go for the line? Thorman's chasing him. He can go in field. Oh, yes! Great reaction. From Gravian, just like when Huddersfield looked like they were on the attack. Well, the witness fans claiming offside. I'm not sure if they've got just cause on that occasion. O'Neill, oh, O'Neill's gone through the gap. He's got support. Oh, he doesn't need it. Great step by O'Neill. Finnegan hands off. Oh, what a break by the big number 10. Well, we thought that Julian O'Neill would come on today and create some gaps for the way. Stephen Myler with the conversion attempt. It's a great kick, you can tell by the fans' reaction. Couldn't tell from here, but the fans behind Myler cheered as soon as it left his boot. And the Vikings are 18-12 ahead. At second row, and Smith will go to hooker. Terry O'Connor. Smith takes the ball forward. Myler gets it ball back to Smith. There's half a gap there. Smith looks for it, gets the ball out. Millard! Oh, yes! Millard's over! A kick. Jules O'Neill comes on for the Vikings. Myler, that's the conversion. 22 12. Don't light off the Giants yet, though, folks. Final one for the Giants. Thorman skies it. Tim Holmes, he takes it well, puts his head down, stays in field. Backed himself there, but Devere just caught his shorts. Oh, that's. Oh, Millard! 
Well, Mr. Lawton nearly got caught up in that tackle. Connolly, the chance on the outside. Can Winders get the ball wide? Malago, he dummies. Can he get to the line? Oh, great ball inside. What a ball, Salah Malago. Took the man on the outside. Mylett, well, he dummied and then looked for the short drop to Dorneal, but the opportunity had gone. Jules, neat tip over the top. Oh, great bounce for Craigie. He's got support. Finnegan. Oh, yes. We are doing it the corner again. A lovely chip from Jules O'Neill. A great pick up by Owen Craigie. Can he make the necessary adjustments? The fans think so. Oh, great kick. It was further out than the last one, but he just adjusted his side. O'Neill, one of the most experienced and best ball handlers in the game. Craigie and O'Neill in tandem, didn't quite come off. And it's early days yet. Myler inside to Millard. Well, suspiciously high tackle, but not given. Smith, can he get there himself from there? I think he can. Oh, yes, it was always on. Weak defence by the Giants. They left the gap there. Myler adds the conversion. 40 points to 12 now for witness. 14 minutes to go.